What's up, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Rondy.com's Garage Sale Transformer Story Finder. This is episode number, um, number 34, maybe. And this is day 16 of our countdown to Christmas 2018. And so, basically, now we're going to Crosshairs. Let's just get straight to the point. Crosshairs, Premier Edition, Transformers last night. So this, I think, is... It's not Studio Series. Yeah, it's not Studio Series. Maybe it was like Studio Series that was, you know, similar intent. But it... I, so I don't know the story, but... So I just open it there. There's, of course, a window there with... You can see crosshairs. Yeah. Premier every Edition, Transformers. Every package has a window except the... Many blind men. Yes, trans, uh, Transformers The Last Night, ages 8 and up, Hasbro Crosshairs. And there's an image of Crosshairs in from the movie. Deluxe Class Transformers Autobot logo. Bumblebee and Stray. There's uh, Bumblebee and, and Optimus, Optimus and Drift from the, the movie. Back, it's with the other resting. side, Crosshairs again. Um, it basically looks almost like. Bumblebee, except he does have a few other stuff. So it says here, Rogue. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. Rogue Sharpshooter and um, Deluxe it's Class, of course. It's the back. New for Bumblebee They're advertising and Bumblebee. He's 12 steps, thank God. So he's a little easier to transform. Let's try to transform him right now. And packaging. So unlike Studio Series, this does not come with any backdrop. But of course we I mean there's kind of like a backdrop. So of course we have instructions right here. Take a look at that and look at how big the packaging is compared to the figure itself so sorry about that so that's crosshairs the full figure and this is part of the box that has nothing in it man look at that oh well and then of course he's got a lot of um tie downs we're gonna remove those ties to free him from stasis mode. Four. Oh yeah, we've moved on now to the Autobots. So we started with Studio Series Decepticons. No. I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna move. Remove those guns anymore. But they look pretty nice. And yeah. So we're gonna try to transform this guy. And he's who is basic? Oh, he's got two more tie downs on by his foot. And which are difficult to remove. I have to cut them from here. From the back. There you go. And... Don't want to break the figure. That's why there's double plastic. Here we go. Okay. There you go, and there he is. Look, it's a car with a robot behind it. Okay, well, I but it looks good. Um, unfortunately, yeah, we don't we we don't have the other guys outside, but he's got a lot of panels and shells and whatnot. But he does have lots of articulation. He's got double joints. On the elbows, he's no got. Wonder why he's um, He's got double joints. Excuse me, I need to say something. Yes. No wonder why he's twelve steps. Kind of like double joints in, or maybe just a um yeah. Yeah, it's a good point. So, but he looks he looks pretty nice. Um, so this is the sort of inside packaging and you can actually use it as sort of as a backdrop like so but it doesn't really mean anything 
And of course, as part of his design, he's got these two big sort of um, cape kind of thing. But yeah, really, it's he just, actually has that it's in just the, the car behind. Yeah. Anyways, um, I'm going to try to transform him. We don't know how to do that. We're going to try to figure it out. Yeah, without and the instructions. It, yeah, and it looks like you just basically pop this thing out. We fold that in. So it used to could have been folded back I think that's that's the default robot mode but it should fold in and you can see it forms the side of the car of the car right there and then oh boy oh boy oh boy Oh, what's that tight thing? There we go. And that's gonna be the back of the car, actually. The back side. So you use the double hinges of the joints to make that sort of frame around the wheels. Then, um, I guess this whole thing should. So basically, there's the car. It's a hider. Pretty much. Claps up, then that folds Let's remove, out. Just fold that out. That There's gonna be the front out. of the car right there. And um that folds so this out. thing it's on has a double to fold joint, I think. It folds forward or backward, depending on how you're looking. That will hide crosshairs. Speaking of crosshairs head almost no articulation there but so this whole panel will hide his head and there it somehow is and then this there his arms will is. should peg into that panel um this this thing should peg into that panel Um, I've always got a car to compare. Okay, and then there's going to we're gonna peg that in. Um, we are going to peg the arm into the side of the car. Just push that in there first. Peg this into the underside of the side of the car. And there you go. So we're not pegged in here anymore, unfortunately. So we have to peg that back in. Easier said than done. It's looking almost there. And then, of course, just fold the legs um, inwards. I got a car to compare. And full pop the. I've got a car to compare. Cool. So I forgot to check out. So this looks like it's a. Uh, Excuse me. Can kind I of compare? cars crosshairs. So there he is. He looks nice. Car looks very nice. I hope it scales with the Studio Series, guys. This is that. It will be important. Can you please compare something with it? Yes. And now we have a, another green car here, but they're not the same kind of cars. So this is a 1 is to 32. What is this guy? Um, Lamborghini Huracan. So that's Huracan or Huracan, Hurricane. And this is, of course, what kind of car is Crosshairs? Crosshairs is a GM. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, what is he? He is... I, I forgot what symbol that is for. Is it a... Arg. But you know what symbol this is for? Yep, that's for... Oh, Lamborghini. This is Lamborghini. 
Oh, crosshairs looks nice as a car. OMG. OMG. Wait a minute. What is crosshairs? What kind of car is he? He's a Corvette. Or... What? I guess he's a Corvette. That's what it is. Yeah, he's a Corvette. I don't know which Corvette exactly. But he looks really nice. He looks really hot. That's hot. Let's see how how good he rolls. Not too bad. And these guys almost have the same wheels. Yeah, Wheel they design. have the same. Oh yeah, did they have the same size wheels? Well, they Not do have so the same so much. Wheel sure, this is a little design. smaller than this guy. I think they shit. both have the same wheel but, design. Yeah. Anyway, I like it a lot. Unfortunately, I store my transformers in robot mode, so I have to change this guy back into. Do we have a? Okay, we'll we'll need a deluxe movie robot so that we can confer, con is ratchet or deluxe? yes he is so we can do ratchet although they don't appear in the movie at the same time so to transform this guy from car to robot mode we'll just do the opposite of what we did it is a corvette i should have known that it, it says they're corvette actually so yes gm you won the licensing part uh, let's see how we can pop this guy out. I guess the first thing we can do is um, pop his legs out. And separate his feet away from each other and we can spin that in the right direction. And then this thing on the top will fold sometime in the future not yet let's unpeg his arms from the side panel the underside of the side panel there he almost is we're gonna unpeg this part from that part so this part is still part of the arm there you go unpeg this part unpeg there you go now we can unpeg this part of the arm away from that and now we have separated a lot of it fold the front of the car forward and then fold it in there and then this part Fold it down, so it's not bad. It's just too shell formerly short shell formery for my taste. But otherwise, there he is in robot mode. That was pretty easy. Is there any pegs that we're supposed to peg into? Nope. It just all drops out. So he is pretty back heavy. He, and considering he doesn't really have any heel, that's that's just so wrong. So he, wait a minute, how does he stand up? How does he stand up? Let's try to figure that out. Let's try to figure that out. Okay, he should be leaning forward. That's how he stands up. Unfortunately. That's the problem with you, buddy. You're back heavy and you have to lean forward pretty much. What? In the foot? Oh, he has heels. Great that's what we need now he can stand hey where's our comparison what do you mean? oh here it is i didn't see ratchet and here he is with a movie but not not premiere ratchet but he's deluxe versus deluxe they're about the same size 
This guy, Ratchet, in alt mode probably doesn't scale well with the Corvette, but well, that, that looks pretty nice to me. And I would say that's about it for this episode of Ronji.com's Garage Sale Transformers Toy Finder. If you like this episode, please hit the thumbs up icon. Also, there is a subscribe button if you want to see more of this kind of video. And if you'd like to get notifications, there's a notification bell icon. And then we also have a comment section down below. If you have any comments or suggestions, we'd love to hear from you. And last but not least, there is a share button. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends, your family, your loved ones, everybody you know, including your Facebook groups, maybe copy the link share it on Twitter, on Instagram, wherever you are on the interwebs. Really appreciate it. So until next time, Autobots, rev up and roll out.